So I want to show you how to plug in your eDrums into the computer. First, you'll need an instrument cable like this one. Just plug it into the side of the eDrums and then plug the other end, then plug the USB end into your computer. In this case, I'm using a hub. I have my drums loaded onto the SSD drive here. You want to monitor your drums from either your computer or the sound card, not from the drum module itself. So here I'm just showing you how to set up your drums to trigger the right notes. So in most drum programs, they have a, a they have presets for your drums. So in this case, I'm using the Roland TD1. But I just want to show you in this example that the TD1 preset in Superior Drummer actually isn't as good for my TD1 module as the TD11 preset is. So I'll just show you that here. Don't know if you can hear that, but the hi-hat setting doesn't seem to be quite as nice. But I'm just going to show you here how to turn the second tom-tom into a ride sound. But just before we do it, this is how the TD11 preset sounds. So you can see the TD11 preset sounds a lot better. Now I'm just going to go into the MIDI settings here. And then what you want to do to change the sound is hit the pad that you want to change the sound of. If you press learn, then you can then hit the drum pad that you want to use. And then use the drop down to select the sound that you want to change it to. So in this case, I've changed the second tom to a ride cymbal. Now I'm going to change the ride to a second crash. So you hit the cymbal you want to change, then use the drop down to change it to this selected sound. You can also go ahead and save this preset for next time so you don't have to set it up every time you use it. So now I'll just show you here the MIDI preset for addictive drums. And I'll just show you how to change it as well. To set a change to triggering sounds with addictive drums, you go to map window here and then you click the drop down. I'm using the TD11 preset for my drums and it works quite well. So I'm going to turn my second tom here into the currently selected drum, which is here the kick drum. When you click learn, it turns the pad that you hit into the selected sound. But I want to turn this into a ride sound. So in the menu here, I'm going to click the ride. But in this case, I'm changing the second one to a ride. So you click the ride from the menu there, and then you click learn and hit the pad you want to change to trigger the ride. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, leave them down below.